what's going on there friends, my name is MJJJH, and welcome to my brand new let's play of Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green version for the Game Boy Advance. Alright, let's press start, and we're going to begin a new game. Alright, so this basically tells you the controls of the game and how to play it, and then this basically tells you uh, what you need to know before you begin. Alright, hello there! Glad to meet you. All right, welcome to World of Pokemon. This is Professor Oak. People call him the Pokemon Professor. All right, this world is inhabited by Pokemon. That is a Nidoran female, in case you guys did not know that. All right. Okay, so the reason I want to LP this game is because uh, um, I really, I really enjoy this game. Uh, this is the Pokemon game that I know uh, the best out of all the Pokemon games. Um, so I thought, you know, I thought it'd be, it'd be nice to, to, to LP this game. Alright, so we're gonna call our rival Green, because, uh, well, you know, that's the, uh, apparently this is a, this game's default name for the rival, uh, so I might as well just give, give it the default name for him. Alright, uh, let's, uh, withdraw our potion, which I recommend you do that, because, um, um, you know, it's always hell. I mean, it's a free potion. You know, you can't really, you can't miss out on an opportunity on something that's free. All right, so this is Palatown, your uh, hometown. This is where, this is where it all began. This is when Pokemon began. This is actually the third generation remake of the Pokemon game Red and Blue, which I, which I also really, I also enjoy that game. However, I'm not really, I'm not like very good at that game as, as much as this game. I mean, that's kind of weird to say, but okay. <laughs> All right, your fed up was waiting. So, so impatient, Green. All right, so there are po three Pokemon there. Okay, the Pokemon are held inside Pokeballs. Okay, you were very, se you were a very serious trainer when you were younger. All right, so let's choose one. Yeah, you'll get a turn. Come on, be patient. Okay, so we got Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. I want. I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna choose Bulbasaur, cause well, I really like Bulbasaur, and we're gonna go with it. Although my favorite is Squirtle, but I don't want to use my favorite one just cause. All right. Um. Oh, this is interesting. All right, we're gonna call you. I call you Brenda. That is gonna be your first. That is gonna be our first team member, everybody. All right, and then uh, Green will choose a Charmander. All right, and then of course, as soon as we get our Pokemon, Green wants to take wants to take us on for a battle. Okay. Well, I guess we're we're on for the challenge then. Okay. So Green starts off with a Charmander, or basically how, or, or basically uh, whatever. Um, Whatever you choose, uh, Green will always pick the Pokemon that is stronger than yours. Uh, so that means if you have a Bulbasaur, he's gonna have a Charmander, a little five Fire type with the move, with the move Scratch and Growl. If you have a if you have a Charmander, he's gonna have a Squirrel with with Tackle and Tail Whip. And then if you have a Squirrel, he's gonna have a Bulbasaur, a little five Grass Poison type with uh, Tackle and Growl. Um, and 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 also I, I chose Bulbasaur because it is all because it automatically has a dual type, so which I think is really good in um, this early in the game. And man, we almost got ourselves destroyed, but we managed to pull through. And well, if you win, you will level up. You don't have to win this battle, but um, it's always worth winning. Winning and plus you get plus you all, you get money every time you win. Alright. Okay. Yep, yeah, make your Pokemon stronger so then I can beat you more. Wait, if you make your Pokemon stronger, I'll make my Pokemon stronger. It's just how things go. Hello. Alright. What does it say on one of the signs? Alright, press start to open the menu. Wow, that was the hardest thing to do. Though I like I never knew that. Alright, and every time you walk in tall grass, you will run into wild Pokemon. So, we are running into a wild Pidgey on level 7, or I mean on level 2. Um, wild Pokemon encounters you can find in here. You can find uh, only two Pokemon. You can find a Pidgey and a Rattata, uh, which are your two 
basic normal types. Pidgey is pretty much your basic flying type that you'll you'll be encountering. Uh, if you talk to this person over here, he works at a Pokemon Mart, um, and then he'll give you a free potion. Uh, every Pokemon game, there's always a at least one of those guys that give you, that gives you one. And then after encountering after battling that wild Pidgey. Level seven levels up to level seven and learns Leech Seed. That is a really good move, uh, which I will take advantage of eventually. Not right now, but later at another time. But after crossing through Route One, which is my favorite route in the game, uh, because of that really amazing music. That's the Pokemon Center if you want to heal up your Pokemon, which I don't need to at the moment. So you want to do here is you want to go to the Pokemon Mart. Yes, I came from Palatown. How'd you know? Yes, I, I do know Professor Oak. Alright, so we got a parcel to, to, to deliver to Oak. So we, we gotta do that. Which, it isn't hard. So all we gotta do is just go all the way back to Route 1. You can't actually go farther uh, from uh, Radiant City uh, just yet. Because there's gonna be a guy blocking the way. He's gonna be like so grumpy, like laying on the floor. He's like, I, I haven't had my coffee yet or something, so... That's why uh, you can't go farther because some guy just doesn't have his coffee, and I don't know how that makes sense. But okay, all right, back into the lab. Here we go. Oh, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more to you. Yeah, and here you go. There's your parcel. You're very welcome. Ah, uh, it's a custom Pokeball. Now I don't, I don't understand that custom Pokeball. I wonder how you can customize a Pokeball. I mean, what is the custom Pokeball called? Like, the Master Ball or something? I don't know. So anyway, Oak will give you... The Pokedex. And uh, basically, this bit, uh, records data on Pokemon. Every, uh, on all the Pokemon you've seen, uh, you get pretty much all of, the, uh, all of its data. If you catch it, um, and we get five Pokeballs, uh, five Pokeballs as a start. Um, in the original game, uh, you have you would have to actually buy the Pokeballs to actually start off with with one, uh, because uh, you don't start off with Pokeballs, which I don't know why, but it's just how it went. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this playthrough is I'm going to catch as much Pokemon as possible because uh, certain things in this game happen depending on how many Pokemon you catch which is which is why I'm gonna and I want to be able to show off all of those so I'm and I'm, most of my catching is gonna be off-screen um, so um, that way you don't have to uh, see, uh, see me go through and catch like every single Pokemon which I will show you um, how to I'm gonna demonstrate on this wall Pokemon right here on this wall Rattata on uh, catching Pokemon for those who are new to uh, Pokemon. Um, what? Okay, that's that sucks. Oh no! Okay, thank goodness, but that's gonna suck. Okay, you know what? No, we're running. I'm not chancing that at all. That w that is lame. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from every wild Pokemon I encounter now, cause that that sucks. I feel very embarrassed right now. But okay. Ah. Okay. <laughs> we are through. Back at Brittian City. Okay. Um. So there's a few. There's quite a few things you can do in here, such as you can actually go over here and grab yourself a potion, which you don't actually have to go past that tree uh, to do that. It's uh, the, the item is actually on the tree if you're playing the original game. Um, so that's really, uh, that's pretty cool. There's also another route over there, uh, where you can, uh, where there's a bot, an optional boss fight. Um, but we're not gonna take it on just yet. Um, and there's also a, few, a, a couple other Pokemon you can find there as well, which I will also be, um, going over there and catch. That guy just made catching Pokemon very easy. He just caught that wild wheel like a boss. Alright, anyway. Um, over here in Route 2, you can find Caterpies and Wheels. That's the only other new Pokemon you can find here. Um, other than that, you can find Radzes and Pidgeys. Um, and then over here is your first dungeon. 
Oh, well, actually, uh, before I take on the first dungeon, I'm gonna go and do some training. So I will be right back within a couple minutes. This is the demonstration on how to catch a Pokemon. Basically, you uh, get the wall Pokemon down to a low enough HP, uh, like around the yellow or red zone, and then throw a Pokeball at it, and that is how you catch it. You don't just catch it right away, right when it's on full HP, because that will most likely not work. Alright, we're back guys, and now we're going to uh, move on into the Viridian Forest. Alright, so over here in this tree we have an antidote, which is an item that heals poison, which is actually pretty helpful because there's going to be a uh, bug Pokemon that will uh, um, poison you. Um, one Pokemon you can find in here, you can... You can find Metapods, which is the evolved form of Caterpie if you level up to level 7. And then you can find Kakunas, which is the evolved form of Weedle if you evolve on level 7. And then you can also find Pikachu, which is actually a rare Pokemon you can find here. Really good electric type uh, this early, for this early in the game. Um, so, I, so if you are looking for a really good electric type, um, and Pikachu is your choice. You'll, however, you'll be uh, looking for him for qu for quite a while if you're if you're thinking of actually looking for one. And also, we have your first trainer battle. So let's take him on. All right, book catcher Rick. All right, let's let's uh, go on a Rick roll with him. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's put Vine up up front and tackle up second, just to make things a bit easy. And boom, all right. Okay. Now, usually I'd be, I'd be fast-forwarding these trainers because there's usually not a lot to talk about when it comes to trainer battles. Uh, it's pretty much you just fight them. Um, they have more... They, have, they usually have more than one Pokemon. And then you also get more experience than a, than a wild battle. Um... Which, um, you won't be seeing me going through a lot of training like I would usually do for Pokemon Let's Plays. Uh, because in this game, there are lots and lots of trainers, so it's pretty easy to be overleveled, even without training. So, alright. Okay, and moving along here, and then for the rest of our trainer battles, I will be fast forwarding like like this guy right here who is apparently looking to the left without paying any notice with me. This is why you should not catch a Metapod or a Kakuna, because all they learn is Harden. And that is an example right there of a trainer using a Kakuna and, or a Metapod when they just caught it. So it's really hard to train them. We are making really fast progress with Bulbasaur. Well, that's because it's only the beginning of the game. Later on, it'll get harder and harder to level up. Alrighty. Hey, what are you doing here? Did I know that Pokemon evolved? No, I did not.
Okay. So that battle did take quite a while. Alright, so coming down over here, we have a potion. Now, if you're playing Pokemon for your first time, you have uh, move. You have um, so every move will have uh, a thing called Power Points (PP) for short. It's pretty much the Pokemon's energy, which I will get to that as soon as I finish with this guy. It's pretty much how many times you can use the move. If you run out of power points on that particular move, you basically can't use it anymore unless you heal unless you heal it up. Alright, so welcome back to Route 2. There's no new Pokemon you can find in this portion of Route 2, so that was a very simple route to go through. Anyway, I'm gonna meet you back at Viridian City real quick. Alrighty, we're back. Okay. So, over here in this route, you can find Spearows and Mankeys. Spearow is a rare Pokemon you can find in here, uh, which, I already, which I already caught both of them. So, we're going to move on, and oh, look who we have. It is green. Uh, no, I'm not off to the Pokemon League. I am here to battle you. Yes, my Pokemon did get stronger. Uh, thanks for asking. Did yours get stronger? Alrighty. That second fight against a green, you don't have to battle him, uh, but I'm doing this because for experience sake. Um, so, he starts off with a Pidgey, level 9, normal flying type, with Tackle, Sand Attack, and Gust. Um, gu uh, sand Attack can be very annoying, and Gust, uh, since, I've had a, since I have a Bulbasaur, is very bad. Uh, however, in this battle, for whatever reason, he does not- okay, that is bull. That- you- you cannot- there's no way you can pull off two Grigal hits in a row. That's bull. Um, gut- for some reason, your rival does not use the, the- the correct move that can easily screw you over, uh, so... That is pretty much an advantage for this bat- for this battle. Um, so next up is gonna be the starter of the Pokemon you are- you are, um weak against um if you have a Bulbasaur he has a Charmander he has a Charmander a uh, level 9 fire type with scratch ground ember if you have a Charmander he's gonna have a Squirtle level 9 water type with tackle tail up and bubble and then you have a Squirtle he's gonna have a Bulbasaur level 9 grass poison type with tackle ground leech seed Like I said, this bat. Like I said, this is going to be a very easy battle because uh, because um, your rival does not take advantage of the correct move that can uh, that can that could make make the battle very easy for him. And uh, I guess I'll just go for a vine whip. Yeah, whatever. I I, I win anyway. That. If he does three damage to me and that leech sheet's healing three HP at a time, then I pretty much won, and he's basically just doing nothing to me. Boom! There we go. We won. All right. Can we get a level up at the end of this battle, please? No. Okay, that's fine. All right. Oh, you just lucked out. What do you mean I lucked out? That was just strategy right there. Yeah, the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. However, we can't get to those tough trainers until much later in the game. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Next time, we are going to go take on the first gym in Pure City. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.